activity-based costing. We've been talking about activity-based costing and the cost hierarchy. And you'll remember it's unit, batch, product, or facility. Thought it might be helpful if we did some examples. So put your hat on. You are now the engineering design. In other words, you design the products. And we need to know if the cost of the engineering design is a unit, batch, product, or facility cost for the following companies. And these are three different companies. So first company we're going to work for makes unique luxury autos. Um, there used to be a car called the Excalibur. And that was a unique vehicle that was made custom order to the to the uh, buyer specifications. They could pick the wood, they could pick the leather, they could pick the trim. Very exciting, don't you think? If I was doing engineering design for such a car, would that be a unit level cost, a batch level cost, a product level cost, or a facility? And you're right, the key term here is unique. So it would be a unit level cost because the design would be specific for each and every auto we made for that luxury auto uh, manufacturer. The second kind is where uh, we make fire trucks. And when we make fire trucks, we make about 10 um, at a time and we make them for a particular customer, but we make these built to order fire trucks in um, a small production run. And as you can tell, I'm having a hard time not saying the word. This is bat batch level, isn't it? Because the 10 fire trucks are identical to each other. But notice we're making the 10 identical to each other. So is that a batch of products? And so when we design those 10 fire trucks, the design is the same for each of the 10. So the design function is a batch level. Okay? The next one is we are a engineering design for, say, Chevrolet or Ford or Chrysler. Here we make a line of automobiles that are sold worldwide. Um, and the design is pretty much the same for each, what? product line. So in this case, it would be a product level cost. So as you can see, when we have an activity or task, depending upon the type of business it is, it can change as far as whether it's a unit, batch, or product level cost. Now let's look at it a little differently. Here, for the cost hierarchy, I'm a blue jean manufacturer. Now you all have seen blue jeans, yes. Okay. So we are looking at some different tasks that they do, and I want to know if these tasks would show up on the bill of activities for this blue jean manufacturer as a unit, batch, product, or facility cost. Let's see the first one. Routine maintenance. Well, routine maintenance happens no matter how many blue jeans I produce or sell. So this is a facility level because it's fixed cost, isn't it? We do routine maintenance regardless. Like you're supposed to change your oil, right? Every 3,000 miles or three months or something like that. Okay, I just look at the sticker on the car. It tells me what to do. Second one says, um, we have a new pattern for um, a new style of blue jeans. Hmm. So is this pattern for a new product line? You got it. So this is a product level cost because this pattern, uh, whether it has flat pockets or not, whether it has rivets, rivets or not, um, the types of stitching, that would be the pattern or specifications for that style. The next one says sewing seams on a garment. This is a unit level because the more blue jeans you produce, the more thread you use because you're sewing more seams. So that's a unit level cost, just like any direct material. And finally, the last one, we produced 100 jeans of a certain style and a certain size. So here we have a certain style, but we're all making size fours or uh, another product run of sixes or eights. 
So this would be a batch level because we produce sizes in batches, don't we? Small batch, medium batch, large batch. So these are some examples of the cost hierarchy.